Oh, good morning. Top of the morning. This is a case off of a uh, Precision Apparatus Corporation or Patco. A little uh, sweep generator. And doing a little, little touch up here, trying to get it cleaned up. What I'm working on here is the handle is. Uh, I don't know if you can see this real well. I'll give her and let's see here. We'll give her the old college try this way, maybe. Anywho, um, this is a leather handle with some bales, and then there's some little straps. Anyway, this thing is pretty much. Um, I think what's happened is it's gotten wet, and since there are wells in here, water is. Po pooled in there and corroded that. Getting rid of uh, rust and, and, and loosening up small screws can be a real pain. Loosening up big screws can be a pain, but sometimes small ones can be a very exceptional or uh, I want to say a bigger nuisance because of their small size. <clears throat> One of the first things I'm going to do here is uh, just try and this is just a little brush you can get at the car parts store, although a crummy tool store or maybe a craft store might have. This is stainless steel. And I'm just going to try and clean that out. One of your first, um, first tools in the toolbox is a well fitting screwdriver. This is a Phillips. I'm going to just see here. Yeah, that one doesn't fit. See how well we can do this. This this screwdriver, uh, Phillips screwdrivers are are numbered. I think they go from triple aught up to a number four, and that's a pretty wide range. Anyway, I think you can see that this is a number two Phillips. It fits. But doesn't fit well. The tip doesn't go down in there, so not so much. Uh, a lot of times, people get in trouble with the screwdrivers because they don't get the right one, or especially Phillips, they think that a smaller size fits properly. I usually try and attack it from the other way. Now that one fits a lot better. It's it's went down in there. You can see it. So I'll give her one of the things I'm going to do is give her a couple wax on the handle there and start trying to turn it. Here we go. Now it's loosened up a little bit. There we go. Okay. One down. Well, actually three down. This other one is going to be a bit of a nuisance and it's pretty impossible to see here. This one, neither one of the screwdriver tips fit real well because it's um, actually corroded. So, what I'm going to do here is try and get all the corrosion out of there. And I've tried to loosen this one and it's not going to go anywhere. So, I think what we'll do here first is we'll put a little bit of... This is some uh, <clears throat> corrosion busting lubricant. There are a lot of good ones. I like the uh, the PB Blaster or the Croil. Those both tend to work really good. Of course, there are plenty of other ones like WD-40 and stuff. You know, use what you got. And most of those work um, well based on your your other piece of the puzzle there that they don't tell you, which is time. So. We'll let that sit. One of the other things I'm going to do here is I've kind of taken the screwdriver and kind of dug in there to try and get the rust out of the middle part. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not. Probably not. This, this is, that other one is a number one. This one doesn't work because it's what's happened is the corrosion has opened that hole up and it doesn't fit well anymore. The number two doesn't fit well either, but it fits better. So we're going to let that sit and see what happens, and I'll be back in an hour or two. 
Okie dokie, well a little time has passed here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can dig any more of that out of there. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fit that screwdriver in there and kind of tap on it. See if the just the sh shock will break that loose a little bit. Also, these go through underneath, and I, I sprayed a little bit of that oil underneath there. So let's see if we can turn it. Sometimes if you try and tighten the fastener, it'll help break it loose. And I'm really pushing down on this. The last thing I want to have do happen is the uh, is the Phillips hop out and, and go over that. It'll, it'll mess that screw up and make things worse. Okay, well this isn't going to work. Okay, one of the other tools in the old toolbox is sometimes you can heat things. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this uh, this little barbecue lighter thing. And I'm just going to heat that underneath and warm that up. You're, you're not trying to catch the oil on fire or anything, you're just trying to get it warmed up. What will happen is a couple things. The metal will expand and it might let the lubricant in there. Don't be afraid to let this stuff sit overnight unless you're in some ridiculously big hurry. This thing is pretty well corroded. So I'm going to try a few times and see, but we'll be back. Okay, so we're back and a little more time has passed. I've heated that a couple, three times. So let's see where we go in here. Oh, I think I saw it move. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, well, the the screw I had to really get after is on the right here, and I don't know if you can see this. It isn't as well defined. See how it seems bigger? And if you look in the center, the uh, the corrosion there is. Um, gotten down in the inside. This is the good one. And uh, it's it's all screwed up. It won't let the screwdriver bit go all the way down in there. You can see how this this is already getting augered out from me tapping on it. So there you go. Actually, your best defense on this is to not let things get in such a state. This is, uh, I think what I'm going to do is just take this handle off. It's, it's pretty rotten here. It's going to... Uh, a good way to damage something new you've got a hold of is to carry it around by these leather handles. You can see this side is worn out and this side is actually cracking. So this will eventually fail, then the thing will fall, and you'll get pissed. So there you go. There's a couple little techniques to get small screws apart. Like I said, 
one of the bad things about those little screws is their size. You can you can exert a lot of f pressure with, on those small screws, and they're easily damaged. They were never designed to put up with that much force. So, kind of uh, take it easy. Make sure you get well-fitting tools. Don't be afraid to soak things. Let them sit. Don't be afraid to warm things up or heat them. You know, you could you could heat that with a soldering iron. That's another good trick. So there you go. There's a few little tips for. Uh, Busting some very small screws. Take her easy. Have a great day.